Yes, it's phot photography at Lyndon Hill again. I can't get enough of this, but every time there's an event, I've got to take part. It's the two-wheel drive, super rally cross, super, no, two-wheel drive rally cross super pre. Let's see if I can catch something. I don't know if I can actually talk right under the tannoy. Catch a couple of cars going over the jumps and coming round the devil's elbow. Oh, the race is actually finished. I don't know if we've got... And we lost Carraway. No, we didn't. Carraway, he is going to get to the flag, but had a poor first lap as uh, Jason Bleasdale continues his domination of the two wheel drive Super 3. So it'll be a, a few more images. I'm not going to do lots of talking about setups and all of that kind of stuff. I've got loads of videos on this now, but I will go into the paddocks. We'll do a street photography session. I think for now, I'm just going to take a few shots of the cars as they go around. I think this is the, a junior race. Clubman's junior competition now on the line. Ty Ratton from Essex on pole position in his car in the Heskin F1. Ready to race. Their third qualifier for the Clubman's Juniors is go. And Elliot Fuster in 707 doesn't get a brilliant getaway, but it's pretty evenly matched with the rest as they run down into Talladega for the first time. Fuster's on the outside Let's line see if I in the green. Catch and them white coming over the jump and also ben coming Bartlett around the bend here. Second place man is behind Ty Ratton, the early leader. So they're in grid order as they launch away from the line and up over the jump. It's Ratton with the lead. Bartlett and Fuster first, second and third. Harvey Hutchinson at the rear of the pack in his Citroen C2. He broke his ankle earlier this year, so has missed most of the season after the BMX incident, but has now recovered and been able to get out onto circuit. And Harvey's getting more and more experience each time he gets out on track. At the minute, he's I don't got know if I'm actually getting with bored with this. Bartlett, right I did see some fantastic cars, the but these, these ones are no... Um... Bartlett. To the world class line. beaters oh. Elliot Fuster who is dislodging part of the joker lap bollards he makes a mistake coming through the chicane Hayden Harris is going to try and benefit from that he's lost a load of time himself as well by being stuck behind the sideways swift but Hayden Harris has gained a place as the race leaders go up over the jump together it's the 244 of Ratton with Bartlett behind him into the elbow for the third of four laps and the two leaders are absolutely locked together it's an eight wheel Suzuki Swift going into Devil's Elbow for the penultimate time I don't know if you're as bored looking at it and watching my video as I suddenly am doing the um, side of the circuit I suppose the thing is I was doing it originally to show you all settings for speed you know for capturing in motion cars and things but what I'm going to do I'm going to drive around the circuit it comes out at the other side of the the hill there where the campus stay i'm going to walk around the paddocks because maybe some street photography is going to be better than this maybe it's because i wasn't anticipating these kind of cars i was expecting you know like classic cars or something i knew there was something happening today so let me get over there and um We'll have a look at the paddocks, have a look at the street photography element. Let's go into the paddocks then. It's more, I'm, I'm feeling it more today, just doing street photography. And where there are people, there's street photography, isn't there?
It does look fun though, that's for sure. <laughs> they got the second batch land lined up. What are these? Put a comment in. <laughs> Let me know what they are because I have no idea. But they just Team RX Racing it says. But it doesn't appeal to me, so I'm going to do some street photography. We'll just leave the camera forward facing. I will do that and I will take some photographs. I'm talking about. That's what I want to see racing, not go-karts. A little Austin Metro. Got to take a picture of it, haven't you? Look at that MG Maestro. Not so much street photography as um, classic car photography.
I think there's going to be a mini car race and I'm here in the paddocks. I feel a bit gutted. Let these cars through. It seems very much like a homegrown event today. Lots of teenagers and what looks like families are all turning up to watch their youngsters race. So I'm gonna walk up to the front here, at least see the cars leaving the, um, the paddocks. Might get a couple of shots of the drivers looking inconspicuous. I'm just shooting everything. I'm trying to make the most of being here just to capture a few shots. But I think it's all played out. It's always played out, isn't it? I got a good couple of shots. Let's go back to the circuit and see if we can get one last shot of the cars going round. Yeah, it very much is a case of same old, same old. Once you've done it once, twice, three times, perhaps the buzz, you, you miss the buzz. However, we've got one more race, and what I thought I might do before I finish the video... So last time I was here, I stood at Devil's Elbow watching the cars come over the jump. But this time, I've situated myself right next to the jump, so with any luck, I might be able to capture the cars in mid-flight just as they bounce over the, um, over the hill. So they're all queuing up, and you know what? It's my favourite cars. We are talking Escorts, Mark 1s, Mark 2s. There's a Toyota MR2 in there as well. All the cars I actually took the photographs of in the paddocks. So I'll do one circuit with my Sony just to capture them racing and then I'll capture a few shots of them going over the jumps only because I've not been at this particular angle before five laps so I should get one lap of them going through Very nice. Don't really get a good angle of it from here. That's the benefit, I guess, of um, Lidden Hill, is that you have liberty to go wherever you want. So I can go over to the paddocks, which I did. I can stand up at the far end. I can go down to that corner. Devil's elbow, I could go and stand up at the top. And I suppose people come here all day long, don't they? And they'll spend all day here. See if I can get it into quick mode here. Shutter priority. Let's get them in mid flight. Whoa. <laughs> that was roughly at about, well, let me tell you. Well, you'd have seen it on the screen 130 mil. 
I'm half tempted to get my 300 mil lens out. And he's back in the room. <laughs> 300 mil gets me right close in. Let's see how good we can get some good shots with this. Nice. So yeah, it's a strange one. You you kind of turn up at um, Lydon Hill and it's kind of bit mitchy. What, what am I thinking? You know, bitty. Unless you actually are here for a specific thing like historics on the hill, then um, you take what you find. But at least I got some paddocks in. Um, I'm not sure even now how it will pan out, whether I'll just do a collage of pictures or whether you'll get the footage. I'm saying that now post the um the paddocks but yeah but in the end it's getting out with your camera whether it's landscapes woodland photography seascapes cloudscapes whatever is your passion motorsport just continually getting out with the camera and if nothing else you're improving all the time right so i knew to myself shot a priority 1 25th of a second couldn't get the reach went and ran into the back of the car got my old Sigma 3, 70 to 300. There's one more race coming. I'm going to leave you with a gallery of just a few more shots of the cars going over because that's what I like to do, isn't it? <laughs> and um, I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Bearing with. Bye for now.